The heat today is insane. I think it's Thursday. Um, anyway, for some reason YouTube <coughs> has delayed the um, posting of the last two videos and they're still processing the last two days of videos so that's why there's a gap. It's not because I didn't post them, it's because they've been delayed by uh, YouTube. Anyway, I've been uh, washing clothes. I'm still uh, trying to fix the coming bottleneck situation that's uh, coming up within 60 days. I've got to somehow uh, heavily reduce outlay or um, increase income or there's going to be a, an unresolvable deficit. Um, I've been down this road before. It's not a pretty sight. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is, um, despite the heat, uh, somehow get up to, uh, I'm going to probably change this. It feels too warm. It's like 95 in the house right now, so it's really crazy. What I'm going to do is grab some water, bring it up with me, and go up to the uh, storage units to try to get some tape and some uh, boxes. Um, and try to, try to get some stuff processed up there, try to get it packed to, uh, i got to reduce the um, footprint pretty heavy. So it's not really looking promising to having the money to get down to Florida. It's not really looking promising to even have the money to get to Pennsylvania and deal with that. Um, all my job applications uh, that I've followed up on, they've hired other people to fill the positions that I've fi filed on. I still keep my uh, applications active but they always seem to skip over it. Um, the FedEx one they're not going to skip over it they're going to take them sequentially so I'll at least get an interview but um, that's just uh, that's not even uh, that's probably about a third of, of what I need to uh, generate. So um, anyway I'm going to just get up there and do some uh, packing. Okay, I've got, I worked on, um, for a while, on uh, all the angles to this, and I came up with the minimum um, plan, and I printed it out. So, um, it's the best I can do with, uh, with the time constrictions and whatnot. So, Hopefully, this will do the trick. I don't still yet. I, I need um, cash flow though, no matter what, so, because I'm going to be short, but this is the minimum plan for survivability. Economic viability and survivability. There's George and Patty again. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I think the meantime, just hold it. What I'm going to do is uh, move that, uh, I made an operational phase thing. It's phase one. We're going to move part of phase one. I'm moving that trailer out into the street to clear this area. That way we can mow it, get rid of the bees and all this other crap, and I can work on the, uh, trailer and also open the trailer. I'm going to hook it to the back of that box truck. I'm trying to get George to line up the boards but he doesn't feel like coming over here because he's talking to his friend. I don't know what the heck is the deal with that. It's just stupid. But I'd like to get this done so I have time to clean and, and do part of the work on the head for this truck here. Well, I've got the uh, trailer back there, but um, <laughs> the stupid thing, uh, they have 
bridge construction going on. And I just had to back up about a half a mile because they didn't tell you about it until you got down the street and they had all the roads blocked, so I ended up in a dead end. Now I'm pulling it around a U-turn to try to position it so that I can park it in the right spot by the house. Okay, this is the uh, setup that's going to Florida when I get the money to go to Florida. I should be able to empty Florida with one shot with this or real close to it. So, anyway, at least now it's out in the open. I can work on, work on everything. Somebody was beating on this in the yard. It's missing a screw and a rivet now. I'll just dig out the key. The key's up in the uh, processing garage. So you can see this uh, bumper's not sturdy enough to pull this all the way back from Florida. Maybe it would make it to Florida. But once the weight got in this trailer, it would be a hazard. So I'm going to try to get a uh, heavy duty hitch installed on this truck. Looks like it needs some air in the tire too. At least the tires are holding air. So if there's a leak, it's a pin leak. We gotta. Uh, I have to seal the roof because they put on these these boards so that you can tie stuff down on the top of these tie downs and. Um, they aren't, uh, they're all warping and stuff, and all the holes that they drilled it for has uh, got some little pin leaks in there. But it sits pretty well on this truck at this level. Once the other hitch is on there, it's going to be lower, so it'll, it'll uh, ride perfect at that point. Well, that's it for tonight. Um, I didn't, by the way, I didn't skip the video number V204 for, um, the 19th. Um, for some reason, YouTube is still processing it. I think YouTube's having issues lately. Um, anyway, today I got the, um, uh, trailer out. I finished making the plan. And, um... Getting a trailer was the first thing on phase one of the plan. It's a five phase plan to hopefully dig me out of this mess. I, I do need to increase my income or I'm going to be screwed. So, hopefully, um, in the next few days I'll be doing a lot of this stuff. I'll uh, read you some of this. Uh, hook the box trailer to the GMC box truck and move it to the street, get the Fox, the um, 77 crew cab operational, which I'm working on, it's the one with the heads <laughs> that I've been, uh, never mind, I get the U utility truck operational, that's the other one on the side of the uh, house that I keep getting stung with the bees every time I open the, um, the hood. <coughs> Uh, remove the blazer. Okay, after my garages get undouble locked, I'm going to remove the blazer from the uh, unit that it's in and uh, bring it over here where the trailer was. And uh, then I'll work on it here and get it operational. And I got to get a, sometime during this phase, get a uh, heavy duty trailer hitch on the um, box truck. Also, the box truck still not renewed registration. Still working on that, so hopefully I can get that renewed. Um, I've got to move the uh, Nissan convertible you haven't seen, the one that's buried deep in my storage unit. I'm gonna, the one behind the Jeep, I'm going to pull that one out, bring it to where the blazer is, and frame it in so that I can pack boxes on top of it and just pack that whole unit solid so that I can deal with it later on after. Um, this financial squeeze is over. I'm going to move all the uh, boxes from all the other units into that unit as well and just pack it to Gazoo. So, you know, whatever I can't make up, I'll make up with the um, 
processing unit, and uh, I'll just I'll just just gonna pack that thing totally tight before it gets double locked again. I'm gonna move the Jeep uh, to the other surge unit out of the surge unit that it's in after I pull all the um, boxes out, assuming that it can fit in there with the um, with the sprint. And then I'm going to eliminate uh, that unit that it, that the Jeep's in because it should be clear at that point and um, this is part of the plan. So it'll save about 135 a month right off the bat in the next few days. Okay, I'm going to move all the stuff to... Okay, it's, it's repeating that. It's repeating that. And it's... That's about it. That's about it. So basically, in a nutshell, I'm going to get that box truck and trailer ready to roll to Florida to deal with the storage unit and the bank problem I have down there. So I'm done with Florida. Um, I'm going to fill up that smaller of my storage units, the one that's got the blazer in it, and lock it up for long term for later. I'm going to eliminate the bigger of these storage units. This isn't all one day. This, this is this phase of the five-phase plan. I'm going to uh, get the blazer on the road, the crew cab on the road, and the utility truck on the road. And uh, that's it. That's, and that's it. That's phase one. I'm not going to even read phase two to five. Let's deal with them as we go. Let's deal with phase one first. The biggest problem with phase one is getting the um, heavy duty trailer hitch installed on the uh, box truck because I'm just having because it's a financial problem and I've just been having all these stupid financial issues. Phase two is going to release some equity by selling a few things. Um, but let's deal with one step at a time. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, have a good night. Take, take it easy.